Hey friends, Lee Brown here, and welcome to the 2019 version of Lee Brown's tips for packing for a long trip. And in this specific case, we're talking about the National Association of Realtors meetings in San Francisco. So now I'm gonna look at my Facebook page for just two shakes of a lamb's tail and share this over to my personal page because I still do not understand why Facebook insists on judging me and ambushing my videos. So excuse any audience here. Oh, loud. Facebook wants to use Bluetooth, that's fine. I send it along and boom, okay. So now we'll turn that off and so you can edit if you want to. Hey Steve, Oklahoma is in the house. Okay, so first of all, and I'll have to remember to remind y'all about this later. So Steve, you're officially in charge of reminding me. I like to give y'all a ton of information on this particular video, and I'm going to have so many items for you that my girl, Michelle, is going to help me make a bingo card. And so we're gonna make a bingo card for y'all, and if you will share this video with a Realtor friend and tag them into the video, then turn in a bingo card, you are going to be entered to win a coaching session with me or a consulting session or frankly just all my online tools if you really don't want to hang out with me so prizes y'all prizes for playing bingo with lee okay here we go now the first thing i want to tell you to bring on this very illustrious trip is you do not have to bring an iron i'm not ironed today because i'm also wearing london you don't have to iron it i use the hotel iron so there's the thing that i do use bring your own reading glasses I'm gonna put my vanity to the side so I can see what I'm talking about with y'all. And by the way, if you also agree that this would be an excellent fundraiser for the Realtor Relief Foundation, that we should have some blue frame Realtor reading glasses that are a fundraiser for Realtor Relief, that's a lot of R's, you should raise your hand and let me know because I think it's a great idea. All right, so let's start with shoes. We're gonna start with shoes this year because frankly, y'all ask about shoes all the time because a lot of y'all pack entirely too many things. And so for the record, the trip I'm packing for is five days. Now it's five days of business and business casual and a dress up event. What that means is you need people to learn how to repurpose. Some of y'all do not understand repurposing and that is why black shoes exist. So let me show you what I have located. Y'all already know I'm addicted to Rothy's, Rothy's. I don't know how you say it in my head. I say Rothy's and y'all like to correct me, but unless you are the Rothy person, quit being so judging. Anyway, they had different styles. We got the pointy ones and they are very fancy looking. So you can pull this off with an actual dress up outfit. Y'all, they're machine washable and they're crushable. And I have stinky feet sometimes, but you can take them out and you can wash them. And I have machine washed mine a gracious plenty of times. So the way that they work, if I give you a link, then they give you $20 off. So they don't give me anything free, but I'll give you that share code and we'll put it in the post here in a little bit. And then I also bought these, the ones that are like the loafer style. And I thought it was going to be uncomfortable because I have bunions, but they're super duper comfortable. And then I found out by accident that this is reflective and glows in the dark. And so it was kind of a nice little perk to find out. But you can also, by the way, buy extra insoles. And so you could change them out if your feet are stinky while you're in San Francisco. Now, speaking of shoes in San Francisco, an app had been created called Snapcrap, but don't look for it because Snapchat made this nice young man take it down where he showed you all the shit in the streets in San Francisco. Now, sensitive viewers, that is not a cuss word. That is vocabulary, it's a noun. So if you want to know where it is in the streets, I will include a link. There is actually a data source called openthebooks.com, which has a compilation of data. Long story short, do not wear your fanciest shoes to San Francisco because they have issues with their populations right now. And frankly, their elected officials need to get off their dead backsides and do some helpful things instead of worrying about plastic straws when you got people living in the streets, pooping in the streets. So wear shoes that can be washed. Now, for dress shoes, y'all, you're going to love this. Okay, so I don't know how many of y'all watch Shark Tank, but we watch it as a family because there's very little on the television that you can watch with a 13 and a 14-year-old that they will agree on and which is not hateful or ugly or full of anybody's agenda and just ratchet stuff. Look how cool I am. I said ratchet core is going to be horrified. But anyway, we watch Shark Tank. 
Now, my kid's favorite is Mr. Wonderful because they like when he gets all savage, but we also like Mark Cuban, and we really like um, the little dude at the end. I can't remember his name, but we kind of washed him out of our brains because we found out he didn't go through with an investment one time after he said he would. But anyway, on this one episode, there was a really cool investment that got backed and it was called One Soul Shoe. Now, I know these are Santa Claus shoes and it is not Santa season. I'm not wearing these in San Francisco, people, but I will be wearing these at some point during the Christmas. So if you have hired me to come speak to your event after Thanksgiving and before the end of the year, don't be surprised if I show up in Santa shoes. But anyway, you take off the tops. Check this out, okay? So you can take off the top. And by the way, these are super comfortable. And there's like three different heel heights. So this is super high for me. And for you people that can wear the trashier heels, there's a much higher one. There's also a low kitten for those of y'all that are even nervous in a little heel like this one. So anyway, you take off Santa Claus tops. You ready for this? This is the coolest thing ever. I love these shoes. And you can put on your other one. So this will be my boring one. There's a black boring top that I have that makes this a generic black shoe. And these little tops are so inexpensive and so is this shoe. And so... For the cost of less than a normal pair of shoes, I can take this bottom here and a couple of different tops and have different shoes, right? It's the coolest thing ever. I think their website is onesoulshoes.com or something like that. But anyway, I saw it on Shark Tank. So when y'all see me wearing these things, you're going to be all jealous and stuff. And so I'm frankly going to go buy some more tops because my favorite ones have been the Halloween ones. And this will all be happening in November after Halloween. But if you see me in the meantime and you see my very fun shoes like I showed off in Iowa. They were very impressed by my Halloween agenda there. So that is the scoop on those shoes. Then we have some very important shoes that y'all know you need. You need a container like this. This is by Dot to Dot and that's some Chinese company on Amazon. They're probably not even called Dot to Dot. But anyway, bring your running shoes. So if you are a runner, we will be running. We are all speeds and paces. There are all people with different um, abilities and skills, and that's cool. There is a Facebook group. It is called Real Tour Runners and Walkers because we love our walkers too. Our goal is to set a starting time and a location and take off together. Now, in San Francisco, we are not going to cotton to anybody going alone. You have to have a friend. That city is not like being in Omaha, Nebraska. So you're going to have a friend and we will do that with you as Realtors. We hang out together and that is where you have to join our Facebook group. One of the admins, which is me and a couple of other people, will make sure that you're a Realtor before we let you in so that we're not letting sketchy people into our Facebook group. So if you're a sketchy person watching this, don't be acting like you're a Realtor because we have access and we will know if you're real or not. And so anyway, that will happen every day in San Francisco. On Saturday morning, I know y'all have not really paid attention to your emails, and I love you for that. There is an event that will be supporting the Realtor Relief Foundation, and if you're not super familiar, you know my heart is all about Realtor Relief. What that organization does is help out in times of natural disaster and tragedy. It was started by our Realtor President, Martin Edwards, and Richard Mendenhall after 9-11 happened to give some resources to families whose housing had been interrupted. And so we do this for wildfire victims and hurricanes and tornadoes and floods and anything that happens, realtors swoop in. And the coolest thing about the money we raise is that every penny goes to help our neighbors in need. And we cover the overhead through the organization by sharing staff. So you need your walking and running shoes because this year, instead of a 5K, we're doing a stair climb at the San Francisco Giant Stadium. That's at 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So you need to go to your Realtor registration and get signed up because all of your money is going to go. And it's going to be a great fun time. And we need your money, frankly. So if you want to sign up and not show up, there will be zero judgment from Lee Brown or anybody else. We love you, but we love your money more when it comes to Realtor Relief. So bring us some money. And by the way, you should notice that while you're signing up for Saturday morning stair climb, you can also sign up for our Realtor Relief Foundation reception on Friday night. Now, I know that y'all have a blue million receptions to go to, which is another reason to need your running shoes because you've got to get to your regionals and then we have every state and it's kind of like crazy time. But you need to make an appearance at Realtor Relief. Buy your ticket because, again, the money goes to the foundation. And we're also going to be selling raffle tickets. And my friend Mike Ford from Arkansas has this idea for these things on tables where you can stick your credit card in and win a prize. I don't really know how it works, but Mike said it was fun and I trust Mike. So anyway, show up on Friday night with your ticket 
and Saturday buy your things for Realtor Relief. And I'll show you one more shoe while I'm talking about shoes. I don't know if y'all have seen all birds floating through your Instagram feed. That's how I wound up buying them because the people who run the internet know entirely what I'll buy. But anyway, it's like a kid, but cuter and breathier and machine washable and not nearly as preppy looking or 1989 looking. So this is the most comfortable shoe I've ever owned. So you'll probably see me dashing around on reception night in this because it's slightly cuter than my running shoes. So now that we've talked about your running shoes for a minute, I'm going to mention to you that because y'all will need to uh, clean things up after you have exercised, I carry in a double bag, Ziploc bag, vinegar, because I like to rinse out my running clothes because I am a stinky runner, I will admit it. And so I use this to clean up things afterwards, and it's also a, a big pleasure to your roommates because most of y'all do have conference spouses of some sort. And if you're a new person coming to NAR, hey, welcome. Call me, message me, ask any, anything. I will tell you all the inside scoop, the things I did not know the first time. But you're generally going to wind up with the conference spouse at some time. And that person would love you more. Oh, where did I put it? I'm still not organized. If you will bring spray, whether it's Poopery or I like the brand from Bath & Body Works. Not Bath & Body Works. What's it called? That place my daughter likes to go. Oh, that is uh, Bath & Body Works. It's that little concentrated spray makes the bathroom smell good because not all of us can go down to the lobby level when it's time to take care of things. And so take care of your roommate and bring some spray. Now, I was going to show you all something else. As we're talking about some toiletries, I always have my trusty bag of drugs. Everybody should have a bag of drugs for a big convention, and here's why. Somebody you're going to run into at some point is going to have a cold, and it's good to be the mom because I will have day and night time. I use Alka-Seltzer because it's better on your stomach, and then we have things like Pepto-Bismol, and I've got a light to wear on my running clothes, and we have some Tiger Balm. If y'all don't use Tiger Balm for sore muscles, you're crazy because this stuff's really good. I don't read the language on it because I don't know what it says, but it works. And also in here, I have my little motion sickness things, just in case somebody tries to drag me on some ride of some sort, which ain't happening, but I'm always prepared for things. So have a little drug bag with you. And speaking of drugs, I'll tell y'all, remind you what we told you about last year, because on Friday night, there is the Realtor Relief Reception and a thousand other ones. There's also the YPNs, that's the Young Professionals Network. And I don't know if it's sold out yet. It's usually sold out. So if you need a ticket, you need to get into the Facebook groups and start raising your hand to see if somebody does not want to use theirs. And before you go, take your activated charcoal. So if y'all haven't bought some of this yet, this one is pure. So make sure you don't get the stuff with sketchy things rolled up in there. This one is just charcoal. I don't know why it works, but you take one about an hour before you start indulging in adult beverages and it will help you not to have a headache and not to have so many toxic things happen in your body. So activated charcoal. And I offered to give this out to people last year and I handed it to a couple of people who looked suspicious of it. But then I read the container and it says that they're vegetarian because I really don't know why you would have meat and charcoal anyway. But get some of the activated charcoal to reduce your headache so you can be very productive in our meetings. And then J-Man was telling me a couple weeks ago, he had a cold, we were at an event in New Jersey and he's been taking black elderberry, which is apparently the equivalent of vitamin C and zinc. So if you don't wanna get a cold, take this. I travel all the time, y'all. And so for me not to get a cold, I take this every day. And I also put thieves oil on my feet and I've got to go get a new container because I have one that opened in a, my um, bag and it was really incense smell and I smelled like a hippie and I'm not usually known for being a hippie, but Thieves Oil is the coolest thing ever. Young, is it Young Life? Maybe not Young Life. Young Oil, I don't know. Young Living, something. They make it. doTERRA probably has a version, but get the pure stuff anyway. You rub it on your feet, and it's the same stuff that the body robbers used during the bubonic plague back in the 1500s so they could go steal things off your body. Because you notice the thieves never got the plague because they were busy pulling stuff off of dead people. So do what they did and put it on your feet. I put it on my children, or used to do before they were teenagers, and I was told they smelled like dirty hippies, but my children didn't get sick and miss them to school, so they're, even though all these people keep sending their kids to school sick, come on, y'all, perfect attendance is not that important. It's a piece of paper that means zero. Quit sending your sniffling child to school. So anyway, while we're talking about your kits here, that's my stuff that stays in the room generally. The kit that stays with me is this one. And it's got a toothbrush and a toothpaste because if you drink coffee all day like I do, you should respect people and carry your toothbrush and toothpaste with you. And I have band-aids because you should always have a band-aid with you. And there's a face wash and an ink pen in here. I don't know why there's an ink pen in here, but there is. And there's matches because that's also your backup if you need to take care of a scenty situation. And there's more Alka-Seltzer. 
And then y'all know about this because I showed y'all last year. Heather Osier trained me on this. Y'all know Heather. She's your women's council president from California. And this is called athletic tape. And it's really cool because if you start to pull a blister on the back of your foot or anywhere that you didn't mean to get a blister, you can put this stuff on. And it's real easy to tear and put on and off. And look, you can take it off without crying because it doesn't pull the hair up off your body like a Band-Aid does. And it also doesn't scrunch up at the edges and get that little black dirt on it like Band-Aids do. So this is way more helpful. And by the way, friends that are joining in, hey, I'm so glad to see you. Just know that at the end of the packing video, there will be a bingo card. And if you fill out the bingo card and you have shared this video with a realtor friend or just a friend in general or tagged somebody, then you're going to be entered to win a prize. And it's a very important prize. Okay, so we're looking at our toiletries here. Oh, I'm about to forget a couple of good ones here. All right, so for those of y'all that walk, I guess I'm taking my readers back off. I'm very vain. So you hug a lot of people at realtor meetings. And I guess some of the rest of y'all, your conventions may be just as friendly as ours you're invariably going to hug some older lady with a good heart and with a lot of makeup on her face. She's got like, you know, foundation and stuff. And so you need to have shaving cream. Now I buy the Rite Aid store brand cheap stuff. Barbasol also works. Do not buy the gel fancy stuff. This is for your granddaddy's shaving cream. What's going to happen is this. She's going to hug you and leave some makeup on your shoulder because you're taller than she was. And so then the makeup is here on your outfit and you brought it to wear it twice during the week. You put a little bit of white shaving cream on it and brush it off with a dry cloth. Y'all, that makeup is gone. So this is the best $3 you will spend. Now, because this one is a 10 ounce bottle, it was because it was on sale and y'all know how cheap I am. This has to go in a checked bag. So if you are not checking a bag, you can go buy some at Walgreens or Rite Aid or CVS when you get to town. And then this bag, has, no, that is not what that is. This is Epsom salts. See, it's not anything sketchy. This is to put in the bathtub. If you need to soak your feet, it pulls the toxins out. It's a runner thing. Runners are told to sit in Epsom salt baths all the time, and I should do it more, but I really don't have the patience to sit in a bathtub. I'm very honest about that. So now let's look at what else you need for your hotel room while we're looking at your hotel room. These things are amazing. So on Amazon, you can buy RFID sleeves and you get a whole bunch of them, credit card size, and you also get passport size. So, hey, international friends, you need to have your passport in one of these because it keeps those little sketchy airport scammers from pulling your ID through your clothes. And I don't understand how it works, but I read enough things on Reddit to know it's probably true. So anyway, if you put your hotel room key in one of these, this thing won't deactivate next to your cell phone. And a lot of y'all have deactivated room keys next to cell phones and iPads and computers. And then it was late in the evening and you couldn't find a front desk staff or didn't have your information to prove that it was your room you were trying to stay in. Because I hope that all of y'all are going to stay in the rooms you were assigned to. Because, you know, I go to run at 4 and 4.30 and I have seen some things in the hallways. But I don't tell. I just look and... And remember, but anyway, get some RFID covers. These are just a couple of bucks and you get a whole bunch in your bag and you could share it with a friend. So if y'all are going to order RFID things, talk amongst yourselves how y'all could split them up. Now we're going to move, let's see, out of, oh, okay. Gentlemen, you don't need to look at this, okay? This is for the ladies in the room, okay? So this is not for you, but if you are a good, kind husband, you should probably pay attention. This is a great gift to sneak in the house. Don't give this as a gift to somebody without them knowing what you're doing. We don't like Spanx, but we like what Spanx does for us. Am I right, friends? Am I right? We love Sarah Blakely. In fact, at some point, I wish she would be a keynote at NAR, so somebody make that happen. Anyway, I know we have some staff on here. Y'all help a sister out. So I found the best shapewear ever. And again, Instagram did this to me because it spies on me. And it's called Honey Love. Y'all, Honey Love is the best shapewear ever because you can get into it and you can get out of it and you can go to the bathroom and the shape is good. And if somebody catches you in the middle of putting it on, it does not look like three sausages wrestling up under a blanket. And so make sure that you get something that's very friendly to you. So Honey Love is a really good one here. And I guess that's on the interweb. Steve says... Make sure that your travel documents are compliant. Very good point. And so Oklahoma Realtors, bring your passports and check your state, North Carolina, 
We have until January to implement that Gold Star Secure ID. I've already gotten mine done. And if you live in the Charlotte area, by the way, you should always roll down 74 to Wadesboro to get your driver's license and DMV stuff done because in Anson County, the lines are not long and they're so friendly and glad to see you. And that's way better than some of these obnoxious ones right here in Charlotte. So just pro tip. Okay, so now let's move along to our next item. Oh, while we're still doing our toiletries, I've already shown y'all, this is the trick to getting rid of the bags under your eyes. It's called Braytox Insta. Okay, so get this. I made a video showing y'all this secret about getting rid of the circles and bags under my eyes. And y'all cleaned the man out. And I got a message and he said, who are you? And I said, I'm just a realtor with a camera. I said, and I love my people. And apparently they do what I say. And so he's given a discount of, I can't remember if it's 10 or 15% off, but we're going to have a coupon for y'all and Michelle's going to slide it into the post. So if you want some of the magic eye cream, we actually have a coupon for you because y'all sold him out. He was super nice, but he said, don't buy it from Amazon because he can do the discount through his site, but whatever. It's coming here just in a, in a quick minute. And then, y'all, he sent me a free kit of some Brazilian facelift or something. I'm going to save that for a cold afternoon in the winter, and we'll all try that together live and see what it does for me. But I guess if it breaks me out, somebody's going to have to carry me to the hospital. Okay, so now let's move along to what you need. We're going to get to packing last, okay? Because I know that some of y'all bought things like packing cubes, and you're going to be upset when I show you why you don't need them because they're a waste of money. I'm gonna show you how you can pile everything into your suitcase in a small way. In fact, some of y'all could probably travel in a carry-on bag for five days with this technique, <laughs> especially now that we have the one sole shoe that you can like trade out. I hope one day they send me a prize, we'll find out. Okay, for your business needs, I am a notebook person. I like to write things down. It is the only way I can find information later. So I'll always have a journal in my hand. If you see me writing something down while we're talking, it's not me being ugly. It's because I have no memory left and I want to remember your very amazing things that you tell me. And so I write down your name. And then that's also how I remember that, oh, we need some feedback, by the way. Those of y'all that were at the Leadership Summit in Chicago in August, if you have feedback about what you wish you had gotten and didn't get or what was really impactful, you should let me know because we're trying to put together an amazing leadership thing for NAR for next year. And then I have some notes here like the fact that a lot of realtors do not know we have the Center for Financial Wellness, which is crazy because it's one of the best things that came out of Bill Brown's presidency in 2017. So I'll make sure and talk about that more. But anyway, I remember that because I wrote it down in my little black book. And you also want to have a charger. Now, my favorite charger came from Ohio's Realtors RPAC event. And if you are not investing in RPAC, you didn't get a free charger from Ohio Realtors. It's really heavy, but it charges like a thousand times. And so I kind of love it. And if you're sitting near me, I'll probably share it if you're desperate. And if you ask nicely and hug my neck and give me a referral or something, I don't know. Okay, so now these rooms are cold in the conference center. So I travel with a scarf. Now look at y'all be like, oh, the Brown's got Burberry. You should know that I bought this in Vietnam and I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff. So if the government's watching this, don't y'all come steal my $5 Burberry scarf because it's very soft and it looks as authentic as anything could look for me because I don't buy these things. I wouldn't know any different. But I do feel fancy when I wrap up in it. I'm not going to lie. Now, because it will be cold in San Francisco, I should warn y'all, there's a reason that every gift shop in San Francisco, California sells sweatshirts and hoodies. Y'all, it's because it sounds warm on the forecast, but then you roll up down from the airport down towards the Embarcadero where it's chilly down there and good restaurants are located, you are going to freeze your batuka off. So let me show you one of the reasons I'm doing this video early. It's because I have just received, and I'm just gonna call this the Bob Turner Collection at the National Association of Realtors. So somebody tag Bob Turner in, because y'all, they have added a Realtor jacket that has camo and the Realtor R and safety R and just right. So y'all can actually get um, any color on the Realtor R that you want. But, uh, you know, frankly, if you're gonna get camo, just go on and get your safety orange. This has become my super favorite jacket. And it, I got a ladies medium and it's not like those ladies mediums that are made for stick people. It's normal size and it's got the little uh, thumb holes on the sleeves that I love and I think most runners do because it, you can keep things from rolling up your arm. So I am about five six and I am um, 
shaped like a woman and this works just fine and so that's a medium you can order it at nar.realtor there's a realtor store where you can buy a lot of stuff like pens if you need one um, i ordered one of the that's who we are pens and promptly lost it so i'm going to be heading down to the expo because our realtor store will be in the expo in san francisco but i can't guarantee that they're going to have anything from the bob turner collection so actually, Bob, you need to buy one of these for Wendy because she probably doesn't know they have them. And I can just bet that Wendy Turner would love to get a camo jacket from her beloved husband. But anyway, I go to the Realtor website to get that. By the way, that's also where I got my backpack. It's an OGO and you can get black or blue. And I had blue before I've gone with black to replace it. And so I like this backpack because it's covered in pockets and pouches and places to do hidey holes. But also because with the big realtor R on it, y'all, people ask me questions about real estate when they see me. Some of y'all are way too secretive about being realtors, which I promise is not super helpful to your business. So anyway, in my backpack, let me show you what's in here. Because you'll see me trucking around with this. Because I have some issues with arthritis, I have a can and bottle opener in here, courtesy of the Kansas Realtors. Thank you very much, Kansas Realtors. And so if you need to open something and you have issues like I do, Carry one around or come sit next to me and I will share. And then I have a lot of business cards in my bag. You need to bring a lot of business cards. Although I will tell you a secret about business cards, y'all. I'm not bringing a thousand cards because if I hand out a thousand cards, all I've done is put money into Moo's pocket. And I do love the Moo cards because I t uh, Paige, I will find the link. It's kind of a weird hidden place or Michelle will find it. Michelle, if you Google NAR Realtor Store, the link will appear. Anyway, with business cards. This is about the most I should be handing out. And of course, I have two different sides of my life. I have my realtor side, which y'all notice I always put my phone number big because I adore my old people clients. And that way they can see it without their reader zone. And frankly, so can I. And then I also have my speaker cards, but this is my old speaker card. Bring the new ones to San Francisco. I'm super excited for those of y'all that like bringing me to see your agents. And I appreciate that. So we have our business cards. If you hand out a thousand, Nobody knows you. They're not going to remember you. You need to think carefully, y'all. Some of y'all are spraying and praying. And that is not a good way to do a convention of any sort, whether you are a realtor or a lender or a pediatrician. doesn't matter. You need to focus on relationships and getting to know people. And when you spend a little time with someone and you find out where they came from and where their success came from and what are their goals and what are their kids like and who are they married to and whatever the information is that would be helpful to you, that's so much more impactful than the thousands of people you could collect that don't have a relationship with you. So my challenge is go on and bring them all. I know that you can't resist, and frankly, you do need them in the expo hall when you go visit all of our vendors. And do carve some time out because we have some really great people presenting in the expo hall. You should go give a card to each one that asks for it because you might win things. I'm not known for winning prizes, but I like to try and then you're going to have salespeople aggravate your nerves. But some of them are reasonable and some are not. In fact, I'm complaining right now to Realtor.com about the way their little sales rep has been borderline harassing me about my account to the point where I said, oh, uh -uh, I am not renewing with you because y'all are too aggressive. So I cannot wait to talk to his boss because I am Karen. I admit it. I am Karen going to call the manager. Anyway, think about your cards carefully. Now, considering that card piece, let me put them back in my backpack before I forget about them. Also in here, I also have my bag of chargers and I'm trying to get away from Ziploc bags because I love them too much and so it makes me kind of wasteful. So I bought these reusable ones which are a little bit thicker and I can actually write on the outside with an Expo marker and that's been super good. Oh, and I also carry spare socks in my backpack because you never know when your feet are going to get cold, especially on a plane. And these ones I love and two people gave me these. I'm not going to say it out loud, but I'll show y'all what my socks say. And I don't really know why two people gave me the same socks, but <laughs> I kind of love these. And so I carry them around as a reminder that I am a delicate flower. Yes, I am. Let's see what else is in my bag. I always have a spare pair of readers because I need them nowadays. I got cough drops, got some nuts. You need to have some snacks in your bag because frankly, some of y'all won't have time to eat. And some of y'all are running back and forth to meetings and you do not have time to eat. You need a little food in your belly because I know what y'all are fixing to do when cocktail hour hits. And so you better have some food in there. So I always keep a little few fruit bars and some nuts. Oh, best thing ever, Fisherman's Friends. If y'all don't know about Fisherman's Friends, this is the best 
cough drop throat lozenge ever. It's nicknamed the speaker's friend because if you are hoarse and dry and you've got to get up and present for three hours, this will get you through. And I have snuck these into many people's hands before they got on stage because that's what we do as realtors. We take care of each other. Oh, I have some Ricola in here. I guess it's because I was desperate without some fisherman's friends one time. Oh, and look, I have my pen that Carl Carter gave me because we're very excited about the new realtor safety initiatives with the Beverly Carter Foundation. So make sure that you find out more about that as we go to NAR. There's lots of issues to talk about when you get there. So let's move on to, oh, we're not doing packing yet. For real, that's at the end. Okay, now, oh, I've got something I gotta show y'all. I gotta remember all these things on my list. Eye cream, filtered charcoal, Rothy's one so Oh, inaugural, we'll get to that in a minute. Stair climb, got it. Reception, got it. Uh, talked about the shit on the streets. Open table. You need an open table app on your phone so you can make reservations when it's time to go eat because you're going to want to connect with other realtors. And you need to be very, very, very smart. Do not spend all of your time eating and drinking and hanging out with people you already know, especially not with people from your home market. Now you can hug them and love them, but part of the reason that you go to conventions out of state is to broaden your horizons. Spend time with somebody whose business looks different than yours, whose politics looks different than yours, whose family looks different than yours. Relax a little bit, because you know you have something in common when you're at a professional convention. So let that be your guiding light so you can start figuring out where you can grow a little bit. It's the best part of these things and you will love people when you meet them hey carl oh by the way y'all so carl claiborne is a new realtor and he just logged in right there by say hey carl and he's in raleigh north carolina and he was asking me for advice on how to select the broker to land with right out of the gates and carl i made that video and it should be landing here shortly on youtube so i will make sure that you see it when it comes up okay i talked about chargers and vinegar notepads and business cards and i forgot to tell y'all one very important thing you have to have is this right here. You see this? That is my major investor pin with the realtor party. Now, the realtors, when you see somebody wearing this pin, that means they have invested $1,000 or more in this year towards political advocacy that realtors do. You need this pin to get into the major investor reception on Saturday night at the USS... I forgot. I can't read it. This is so embarrassing. I'm glad y'all love me anyway. All right, so... This is my schedule, by the way. I have a spreadsheet because that's the only way I can keep up. The major investor event is the USS Hornet. And I should have remembered that because the Charlotte Hornets play here for the NBA, although I'm not giving them any of my money, as y'all can probably guess why. But anyway, we're going to go to the USS Hornet. You need this pen to get in. Now, you can bring a guest. So if you know a realtor who is interested in advocacy and needs to learn more, bring them as your guest so we can help them understand exactly what we're doing. Because right now, y'all, if you are not a regular realtor watching this, or if you are and nobody told you, the realtors are super focused right now on protecting the 30-year fixed mortgage because we are very, very focused on protecting and preserving not just home ownership, but its accessibility to people of all communities. So that's our very important goal and that's what we're working on right now. So don't be thinking that political work is all about funding candidates all the time. It's often about really important advocacy work. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. You know, housing is not considered to be a sexy topic and so nobody talks about it until something goes sideways. But I will say that little idiot woman who is an elected official who came out yesterday and said everybody deserves a house. I want to pop her in the throat because that is not how these things work. You have to work for things in life. Okay, so anyway, let me talk about my schedule for a second. You may want to do the same thing. Now, if you're not as busy as I am, you're very lucky. But I'm honored to be busy and have things to do. What you want to do is organize yourself so you know where to go and when. Now, if you are a first-time visitor, hey, we're so glad you're coming. I was a first-timer once, and it was scary. I didn't know where to go, what was important. So let me give you all some insights on the calendar here. So when you arrive in San Francisco, there are meetings for Women's Council and for the Residential Real Estate Council and many of our affiliate groups ahead of the beginning of meetings. And you'll find that the big day for governance is going to be starting on November 7th. Now, on this day, at, there is an event on your calendar called NAR 360, and that's one hour at the Marriott Marquis, and you want to be there because you'll get some insights on what the association is doing. You'll get some updates on information. You can even meet your leadership, and some of y'all don't care, but you should meet your leadership because they're spending a lot of time and their hearts are really honestly involved in the profession. 
And then the inaugural gala is that night where we're going to install Vince Malta as our president for 2020. And of course, Vince is from the Bay Area and he is, so if y'all didn't know this, it's one of the coolest things about Vince. You might not know that he's a realtor who's not just doing really cool things in real estate. He's in the Baseball Hall of Fame. He's like the world's preeminent expert on bats. And I asked him about my favorite baseball card, which is my signed Ozzy Smith, because y'all know Ozzy is my man. And he knew the value right off the top of his head. And I didn't even want to know if it's worth more when Ozzy is gone, because I don't want to think about that day. I frankly can't handle it. So there, that is sold out. So if you want to go to Vince's installation, then you need to probably start stalking Facebook groups and begging, because that is sold out. But it's a great time. Make sure you come next year. It's always good to dress up for Realtor Prom and celebrate our leadership. And there's always some interesting things that happen there. And then on Friday the 8th, we've got, oh, you're going to wear red on Friday. And I will show you all my red in a second when I show you how to pack. We are doing red on Friday. This is a project by Stephanie Jones. And Stephanie is from Michigan. And this is to support... Um, oh yeah, everyone who's deployed. And so we're going to wear red on Friday. So get a red shirt, a red dress, a red sweater, a red scarf to remember everyone who's deployed. And we're going to do some promotion for that. So that is for Friday morning. And then if you are an RPAC Golden R or Platinum R, so that's Golden and Platinum, there's a reception on Friday. And then you've got the have your running shoes on to go to receptions. And by the way, if you weren't invited to a reception and you want to go, then call somebody and ask them. The RSVPs are generally very delighted to have a new friend, but they need to know who you are. So reach on out and make some friends. And then I'm take, teaching on Saturday morning. What? We're going to have the post, and you've got the list of all the places I'm speaking. I'll talk about how to better defend yourself as a realtor and how the message should go to the public. That's Saturday morning. And then we've got the CRS members belong to the Residential Real Estate Council. Those meetings, the member update will be on Saturday from 1.30 to 3 o'clock. And that's always helpful time. And then we have, let's see, the general session. <gasps> that's with Magic Johnson. What? And that's on Saturday from 4 to 6. You need to get there on time. And if you are a major investor, you get pri pri priority seating. So if you want to get priority seating, you should come see me. And I can see if we can do anything for you at this late state. And then we're going to install our CRS leadership on Saturday night. Oh, Friday night, we're installing the Women's Council leadership. And so Thursday night's NAR, Friday night's Women's Council. Saturday is CRS. Then we have the major investor meeting. And then Sunday, we have, I'm texting again. Uh, no, I'm in a panel on uh, with Nobu. Nobu put me on a panel from 1130 to 1230. Then I'm teaching you 10 tips from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the convention center. Then we have our regional caucuses that afternoon. So you're all in a state, which means you're in a caucus. And so you should go find out what the data and the news are that affect your realtor professional selves on the low, smaller level. And then the celebrity concert is Saturday night. No, Sunday night. What day is that? Sunday. And that is Pentatonics. And you recognize them from, I don't know, they sing a lot of Christmas songs. And I guess they're famous with other people too. But I only listen to Duran Duran, so I'm not much of a resource. And then the board of directors meeting is on Monday the 11th. And now if you've been seeing a lot of kerfluffle on Facebook and LinkedIn about some of the things coming before the board, then make sure that you show up and sit in the gallery. You don't have to be on the board to show up. You can sit there and learn and you can have conversations because we are 1.38 million Realtor members and we kind of need to talk to each other and know what's going on. So that's my schedule. And by the way, if you wanted to have breakfast or coffee or lunch or supper with somebody in particular, now's a good time to reach out to them and set that up. That should be part of your packing, absolutely. Because some of y'all wander up at the last minute and try to hunt somebody down. Well, if you want to get connected to a leader, you should let them know because they ain't going to have any transparent reason to read your mind. Okay, so then what you're going to also see during the week is Paula Montefer, although you might not see her because Paula is only about three feet tall. But her hair is as long as she is. Kind of reminds me of Cousin It. But she's much cuter than Cousin It. But y'all remember how he ha could hide in his hair? I think Paula could probably hide in hers. But her heart's as big as Alaska. I would say as big as Texas. But I keep being told that Alaska's bigger. And so she wants your toiletries from your hotel room. So if you're in a hotel room and you brought your own stuff, save your toiletries. And no, this is not stealing to the person who sent me an ugly message last year. I'm paying for the toiletries because I'm paying a lot for these hotel rooms. 
And so we're going to gather it up. And you can also bring your snacks. And so when you go to the board of directors meeting or to your regional caucus, you're going to see a lot of snacks laid on the table by your staff who loves you so much. And so you could gather up the fully packaged unopened snacks plus your toiletries and give those to Paula or her squad walking around. Because what we're going to do is create some bags that Paula calls leftover love. And we're going to hand those out in the streets of San Francisco after the board of directors meeting on Monday. Now, Paula needs about 100 realtors to go out in the streets and hand out some love in the form of a bag with some toiletries and some snacks and whatever else she has in there. She could use socks. She could use T-shirts and toboggans. So whatever you could bring, maybe you can go buy a 12 pack of socks and bring that. We'll be collecting that on Sunday and then we'll be delivering it on Monday. And you, again, you'll see these bags rolling around the convention center, throw some stuff in. Now you, we need you to help us with that. There's also a project happening with the good neighbors and they will have a booth in the expo center. These projects are not the same, but they are supporting each other and working concurrently. So we as realtors can leave San Francisco a better place than we found it. All right, so now, is the part of the video y'all have been waiting on. So remember, if you were watching earlier, there is a bingo game involved. So you need to go back and watch the rest of the video. And by the way, those of y'all trying to look around my room and see what kind of sketchy mess I have, yes, that is a body pillow in the floor because I have to rest my hip because it hurts. And look, this is the prize that I won at the State Fair on Sunday for fooling the age guesser. Ah, ah, ah. It was the best day ever. Okay, so... Now, in our bingo game, you're going to see a list of the things I have talked about in our packing video. And if you mark off the bingo card and you share this video with a realtor friend or tag them in, then you're going to win, be entered to win a prize. And I'm either giving away a coaching session or a access to my online university, which is like 30 days to succeeding in real estate. I can't remember what we're calling it. All right, so look, this right here, see this? That's a week's worth of clothes, okay? Now, let me show you why. You don't need packing cubes, okay? Pay attention, friends. We're gonna unpack this. I'm gonna show you, that was the final product. Now, while I unroll this, I will tell you that in the next couple of days, you will see me post some information about the class action lawsuit that's going on, and I will help y'all understand what's happening so that you won't feel like you're in the dark and you'll also be prepared for better questions. And anything else you need me to tell you about, y'all know you can ask, because I will tell you things. Look at Dennis trying to tell y'all. Toboggan is not a sled, Dennis. I don't even let them talk that crazy talk. Okay. This process, y'all, is called bundling. Now, there are some websites that will show you how to do it, some YouTube channels and things. But I know y'all like to hang out with me in, in my bedroom here. All right, so we start with the bottom. If you have a jacket, jacket goes at the bottom. Now, why do I travel with black when I know I'm going to get foundation on the shoulder? Because I told y'all how to get rid of the foundation. And second of all, this goes over everything and makes it look dressed up because, frankly, I'm going to have to tell y'all something. We are professional realtors, and I know that you could wear your most relaxed stuff at our convention and conference, but the public is watching us. So I think you should take it up a notch and look like you are very important. So when you put your jacket at the bottom, pop the collar. So pretend you are Don Johnson on Miami Vice, pop the collar and lay it face down, okay? Now we're laying the arms out to the side. Can y'all see? I'm laying the arms out to the side. Let me make my camera over here a little bit. Now we're gonna take our tailored pieces. So if you're a man, the next thing you would do would be a button down shirt, but ladies, you probably don't wear a lot of uh, button down shirts. So I'm going with a dress, and Sam Powell said she wants me to wear this sometime this week, and y'all know I wear this dress as often as possible because Jackie Safran helped me find it, and it's flattering, so we should always wear those things more often. So the top of the dress, watch, is going up here across this, across the shoulders of my jacket, sleeves out. So what I'm creating in this space is like an X, okay? And here's what's gonna go in the X. The bottom of your pile, is your core pile. Now, we're just gonna tell you, in my core pile, that's the unmentionable, so my exercise bras. And by the way, if you're a lady who has, you know, your own set of boobs, whether they're store-bought or came from the Lord, Anita is the best brand of running bra I have ever found because it holds things where they belong but does not hurt. Anita, active brand. I don't know where I buy these, but right now I have a red one and the elastic holds up pretty good. So anyway, then we got our drawers in here, and then there's a t-shirt, and I'm using my blue Realtor t-shirt, because when y'all come to do the Realtor Relief Walk at the San Francisco Giants Stadium, 
look as real to as you can. Your local association may have some t-shirt or you got something from the Real to Relief 5K last year in Boston. So look real to when you come. And if you're commercial, you can wear your red one. I love you commercial people. So that's, that's the core, okay? So that's all of your unmentionables will be in that little tiny packet that goes in the middle. We'll come back to that. Now that we are working on this, let's get back to our tailored goods. Now you notice I'm wearing three quarter length and long sleeve dresses because it's not warm in San Francisco. Do not believe this is some warm part of California, y'all. All right, now I'm gonna put the top here where it matches the top of my jacket. Okay, so y'all vaguely see that? So we're still working off of this X here. And then, oh, this is the dress I'm gonna wear to Vince's installation because I got it on clearance and it's Calvin Klein, so I never have to try Calvin Klein on because I know what size I wear. And if y'all know somebody at Calvin Klein, if they mess with their sizing system, I'm gonna be angry. And then I have my red dress. Y'all remember we talked about this? This is for Friday. So you will see me wear this on Friday. And actually, Sam, don't be hurt because Friday is real to wear red day. Is that when my women council? Have to look at my schedule. Okay, so. So our dresses are going north to south, okay? Now your pants are gonna go east to west, all right? Now look, it's back in the middle. So see how this is going to the underarm area? We're still working on an X. So your waistband goes in the middle. These are my running leggings and they're reflective. By the way, if you're a runner or a walker, bring a light. Let me show you my light is this thing. It's called the brawl beam and it goes across my whole head. It is viciously light, but I can see what I'm doing and do, you need to be safe, okay? I fussed at my friend Sean Cunningham from Las Vegas one time. We were at a real tour event in Vermont, and Sean's a black man wearing a black shirt and black pants, and nothing he wore was reflective. He was like running with the night, and so every time I see him now, he wears bright fluorescent colors because he was worrying me so bad, so don't make me worry about you. Wear clothes where you can be seen. So here, see how we're at the underarm? We're working off our X again, and I've got a little dress here which looks summertime but it goes under a black jacket and see it's knit so it doesn't wrinkle and it has no waistband so it doesn't matter what I ate the day before so we'll put that here we have my other pair of running leggings because I'll have some leggings and I also have some shorts depending on the weather and then I have my new favorite top that I got at White House Black Market and they're not paying me to tell y'all but y'all keep asking where I got it and so there it is so I'm gonna lay that here now where my core goes it's up under here Here's the skinny, y'all. So your clothes are going to be best. Now you're going to wrap them up. And the key here is to wrap tightly because when you're doing that, you're creating compression so that these things don't wrinkle. You're gonna get your whole packet out at your hotel in San Francisco and it won't be wrinkled. So we're gonna put the core in the middle. So your under things, shorts, t-shirts, that kind of thing here, pull this up, tuck it around. And then we're gonna pull this over. See, we're pulling it tight. Tuck it around like this. Bring this one over. And you basically, when you're putting your bundle together, think in terms of the more tailored things at the bottom and the less tailored things like knit items and running pants at the top. Okay, so we're going around and around like that. When you get to your dresses, you can use your arms are fantastic to pull it up. And then we're gonna pull the bottom up like this. See how it's making a, a, a one website, they called it a clothing burrito, which I thought was fairly accurate. Let's bring this dress on around. And see, because this is embroidered, I really don't want to have to iron it because I'm pretty sure I would burn it from not paying attention. So let's pull this over and up. Y'all see this? Ain't that crazy? Look, in about two seconds flat, well, two minutes, to be honest, we have created a packet of clothes that sits in your suitcase in a tiny space. That's a million times better than your packing cubes because you're gonna have to still have items compressing each other. Because the thing about clothes when they travel is that you get wrinkles because they get mushed up against each other and then they're getting sh shuffled around in the overhead bin. So if you create some compression and pull them with each other, the wrinkles don't happen. Trust me. I flew about 350,000 miles last year and I'll be around 300 this year. I figured some things out and learned enough different techniques to make it worthwhile. I think I have covered everything in this year's packing video. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. We've got your homeless bags. 
We've got realtors wear red day. Please visit the expo. Oh, my Michelle's going to kill me. So I have a booth in the expo. Michelle and Lainey are going to be there. Lainey is the most hilarious person you're going to meet, and she can tell you about the public school system. And Michelle is my marketing genius extraordinaire. And so I may or may not be around my booth, but I'll be popping in and out. They'll be there with my books, my note cards, which are slightly inappropriate, and they always sell out the first day. So if you need the note cards, you need to come ahead on when the expo opens. And I'll have some special deals on some educational opportunities when you can get your little doses of Lee Brown to help your business grow. Because I love y'all and I love real estate and I want us to do better things together. So you need to come visit my booth because there will be some show specials. And I'm, we're not near the Scarf Man this year and I know y'all want to go visit him. But you should be careful visiting the Scarf Man because y'all are spending a lot of money over there. And you should totally not have to visit the Aerosol booth because you're going to have brought you one souls and your Rothies or Rothies, whatever. And... Make sure that if you have questions about the schedule at NAR and you don't know what to do, let me know. I am glad to help. Reach out to your local association leadership, your state leadership. They will help too. Pretty sure almost everybody that's in this thread over here is a helper of other people. So if you see a name that you recognize, send them a message. The best thing about the Realtors Convention is the fellowship that happens with professionals who have a desire to protect and preserve the American dream. And home ownership is the key to everything for so many families. So come be a part of that. Let me know if you have questions. And when you see me, you stop and you take a selfie with me and hug my neck because nothing makes my heart more glad than seeing my realtor family. So have safe travels and I'll see all of you in San Francisco in just a few short days.